From beautiful beaches, emerald jungles to rolling highlands, Sri Lanka has attracted many filmmakers for decades. Here is a list of five notable international films shot in Sri Lanka. Filmed in 1953, Elephant Walk was originally set to star Vivian Lee and Laurence Olivier. However, both Lee and Olivier pulled out and the former was replaced by Elizabeth Taylor. Several estates in Candy were used for filming, while the rest was filmed at a Hollywood studio. In the story, a colonial tea planter moves to Sri Lanka with his wife to the Elephant Walk bungalow in the hills. But the local elephants are disgruntled with the place because it blocks their migrating path. Ultimately, the elephants wreak havoc on the plantation in an exciting climactic sequence. Bridge on the River Kwai, starring William Holden, who was a huge star at the time, the film was shot in Katugala, where the iconic bridge of the film was constructed. The bridge, which was built over the Kalani River, gets blown up in the film's climax and remains one of the cinema's memorable moments. The film won several Academy Awards, including Best Director and Best Picture. A remake of the 1931 movie, Tarzan the Ape Man, was directed by John Derrick in 1981. The film starred Bo Derrick, who was also producer of the film. Tired of being judged simply for her looks, Bo wanted to be taken seriously. I didn't plan to be producer, but I just ended up doing all those jobs for John. I was in charge of all the money and the hiring and the firing of people, and then he could concentrate on the, on the, the creative parts of the film. But the production was plagued with difficulties. In the first 15 days of filming, she ended up firing 15 of the original 23 crew members. Not However, the ape. film was panned by critics, including Gene Siskel like and Roger Ebert. Like an That's what's surprising, I think, about the new Bo Derek picture, Tarzan the Ape Man. It comes off, actually, as a very silly film when it attempts to be serious and as sort of an innocent, trivial little travelogue the rest of the time. Poor Richard Harris, right. walking through the jungle screaming, I'll get that ape man, I'll stuff that ape man. It's ridiculous. Well, wow. <laughs> this ape must John later directed the film Ghosts Can't Do It, part of which was also filmed in Sri Lanka and included a cameo by current U.S. President Donald Trump. Nonetheless, the film flopped and effectively ended John Derrick's career. But in this room, there are knives sharp enough to cut you to the bone and hearts cold enough to eat yours as hors d'oeuvres. You can bet your sweet little ass on it. You're too pretty to be bad. You noticed. Steven Spielberg's Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was supposed to be filmed in India, but officials were offended by the story and refused to let him film there. Instead, the film was shot in the city of Kandy in Sri Lanka during the early 1980s. <laughs> The film also includes a cast of famous local actors such as D.R. Nanakara, Denawanka Hamane, and Irangani Sarasingha in smaller roles. However, the film's portrayal of Hindus was poorly received in India, who issued a temporary ban on it. Directed by Deepa Mehta, the film Water was supposed to be shot in India, too. 
But conservative right-wing parties were indignant over the last film, and over 2,000 protesters destroyed the set of the movie before filming began. It happened instantaneously, it felt. They even burned an effigy of the director on the streets. How did you feel at that point? I didn't see my effigy being burned, but my daughter did. And she didn't feel that great. I mean, I, I thought, I asked her what, I, what was my effigy wearing. I mean, you have to have a sense of humor about stuff like that. You can't take it seriously. Eventually, the production was moved to Sri Lanka, where it was filmed under a false title. The film was ultimately nominated for an Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film.